Today's simple build, we're gonna build a tool organizer that's gonna hold most of my Ryobi uh, OnePlus tools. This includes my drills, palm sander, and things like that that I use on a reoccurring basis. And it gets all of my batteries up off the sh shelves and into a safe place for storage and charging. To get started with this build, I'm using a piece of one by 10 board. Uh, it's not the greatest board. In fact, it's got a couple of splits in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to a manageable size and then we'll, we'll cut the pieces out of that for the organizer. So because this isn't the greatest wood that I'm working with, I'm gonna to have to work out some bowing in the boards. Um, it's not too bad, but there is just a little bit of, of a curve to that. And I'll be able to work that out with the glue and nails as I put the thing together. But that's just something you need me to watch for when you're selecting your boards. Again, this was scrap piece. I, I'm just hanging up drills and things like that. So I'm not super concerned about the overall uh, shape of it. It's gonna hold the tools and it's gonna do the job. One of the tools I'm going to add to this tool organizer that's always beneficial in every shop is a pencil sharpener. Essentially I've got this worked out so that this top shelf basically sits just above it and it should line up with the top edges and give plenty of room for that pencil sharpener to come in and out if necessary. If you're building this project for yourself, there's a couple different things you can do to spruce it up. For your project, you might also consider painting it or staining it. For my build, I'm going to attach a power strip to the side and go ahead and just mount it on the wall.
So that wraps up this simple build. I hope you found this project helpful. If you like this project and would like to see more, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Until next time, hope to see you again here soon on My Simple Builds. Alexa, clean up. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app.